What is going on everybody? It is Tom here with the Studio Business. Doing a little bit of a different video today. So I'm sitting in my car. I am right outside of an office that we are gonna be doing a studio build for. And this being a studio business channel, I figured what better way to show you how to get into the studio business than to show you what a studio build looks like. And so this client in particular is a client we've worked with before. This is a satellite location. They're a pretty big mortgage lender in um, the Chicagoland area. Uh, and anyway, we had a, a little bit of a referral. Uh, a client had worked with us seen our studio and was like hey we want that here for us so um, that's what we're here to do we had provided them a list a big shopping list uh, based off of what they wanted based off of what we told them they should have it is also my birthday shouts out to me 30th birthday thank you um, and I'm deciding to spend it doing this uh, hopefully filming a YouTube video and uh, having a good time with it so it's a little bit of a rainy day here in Chicago we're gonna make the most of it if you're interested in seeing how we do this build like subscribe follow us um, and yeah let's dive into the building I think I'm right in the right place, bro. I think I'm right in the right place. It is, dude. Happy birthday, nice to meet you, man. Thank you, dude. I know. I wasn't going to make a big deal out of it. Well, we're ready to, to crank. Awesome. Which one of us? Where is it? Which one's us? Here's the room. Okay. Cool. All right. Looking good. All right, so now we are in the room. For the first time on a build, have my boy Colton with me here. What's up? But here's the room. So we're going to do two different things. On the wall behind me, there's going to be a desk set up. Um, and uh, we don't have the desk, so that's a problem. But uh, you'll be able to hopefully see roughly how it looks. Uh, and then behind us, we're going to have a two-chair um, kind of lounge setup similar to what we have at our studio. On the ceiling, we're going to be doing very poles, but with a different, a little bit of a twist. Uh, we're not going to be using the tension part of it. And we're going to be trying to use these wood beams as some of the uh, supports here. So. Uh, wish us uh, luck. We'll probably film a good chunk as we go through it here, um, but this is also new to me, so I probably won't do too much of that, you know, but uh, let's go. So to no surprise, I did not end up filming as much as I would have liked, uh, but what I wanted to do just kind of in the middle of the video here is go through the list that we provide to clients, and so I know you guys won't be able to see that here, um, but just going through the gear list is going to be helpful because it'll make sense for the rest of the video. We're doing FX30s for the side camera and an A7C for the center camera because it's full frame. Um, there's probably more context to that in other videos, but uh, we use FX30s for the side cameras here, and then we have an A7 III at our studio, but uh, an A7C is a newer option and works great. Um, they have a Tamron uh, 17 to 28 on that. We got dummy batteries uh, for everything, obviously. Um, and as far as that goes. And for audio, we went with a Rodecaster Pro 2. Um, we nowadays have switched to uh, the Mackie DLZ Creator, but I still think that the Rode is a little bit more user friendly um, and maybe a better option for some people. So we just went with that, it was uh, simple. They didn't want to go with um, SM7Bs and they were cool, it's just Rode mics. And so the uh, I think the preamps are a little bit better in the Mackie. So anyway, the Rodecaster worked great for them. Um, and like I said, it's a little bit easier to use. As for the lighting breakdown, um, we went with with a lantern style softbox for the desk setup. And then for the hair lights, we went with T2C Amarin tube lights um, for both sets. So there's two at the, um, the desk setup and then there are two also at the, um, the, the chair setup. And for the, uh, the two person chair setup, we went with two Amarin 100 X's. Um, again, it's probably something that'll remain on daylight more so than um, at, a, at a warmer temp, but I think you might as well just spend the extra money and get the X opposed to um, the, the D when it comes to Amaran lights, just because you have that uh, flexibility for the uh, the future. Another kind of classic thing that I do for a lot of builds are those little Go V pencil lights that you guys have seen at our studios. I think those make a whole bunch of sense. I do actually have footage of what we did to get the very poles attached to the ceiling. We did it a little bit differently and didn't use them for their tension rod purpose. Um, and so uh, I'll roll that clip now. All right, so through some of it here, uh, we have our first very pull up with uh, the lighting for this uh, this first section here, and I will show you guys how I did it. As you guys can see, there are these wood uh, slats. Uh, instead of doing these in a tension rod format, um, we're just using those to our advantage. And so it's basically a clamp up top uh, and then a little extension rod, and then that extension rod goes into one of the uh, impact very pull clamps. Uh, and that is what's supporting that there. And I'm actually pretty impressed. It seems like it's holding uh, really well. I didn't know if it was or if it wasn't going to, but um, looks like it's gonna be doing just fine for us. 
So in this clip, you can see Colton and myself uh, working on Megadesk here. We did a Megadesk setup for them, uh, which is kind of a go-to for most clients. Now, even if they just have a single set, I still think it's a pretty just smart way to organize everything and uh, have the ability to move stuff out and so you don't have tripods within the room. We also, along with the client, decided to use the ATEM Extreme. The client decided that they were cool with ponying up the extra money for it, and I think it is a smart long-term play, uh, getting the Extreme over some of the lesser ones. You get that dual monitor out, which luckily they had two big monitors that they can use, and that'll be helpful for the multi-view as well as if they want to have um, a reference monitor. And it's just nicer to have two monitor outs. Um, obviously, the second USB-C out is pretty crucial, so they're going to get to enjoy that. We were there for pretty much the entire day. Um, I think we wrapped up probably around 4 or 5 o'clock, and we were just kind of running tests, but um, it was a good long day. It does take a lot of time to do this sort of stuff, um, and luckily when we do come out to go do them, they're uh, fairly well compensated. So in addition to coming and doing the on-site install, uh, we do a series of phone calls with them to kind of uh, onboard them, let them know what stuff will look like, what stuff they want, what stuff they might not need, um, what kind of design stuff they want to do. And then we provide um, a couple of like photo renderings of their space um, with a free program that we use. It's not very fancy. I think it's just called 3D Room Planner, but we provide them with that. And that's helpful for us too, just to like, uh, before we go in, kind of map out where we want to keep stuff. So before we even head in there, we have a pretty good idea as to what's happening. We obviously know what equipment's going to be there. Um, and then it's really just a process of unboxing a crap ton of stuff and putting it all together and making sure it works. Uh, and no experience is completely um, free of complication. And so there were a couple of items that weren't there, weren't purchased, or uh, didn't show up quite on time but we were able to make things work in general and then this is us just kind of uh, testing out the two different setups having some stand-ins and running things this client in particular uh, was not he was taking off right as we were wrapping up um, and the studio in general I guess was kind of on like a, a temporary hold until he got back from his vacation so um, hopefully we can get some footage from them at some point to maybe share with you guys but um, overall, the client was happy. He was able to see most of what we had done by the time we had left. Um, and I know they're very excited about using it. I know it's gonna be a big, useful thing for them in the future. And so, job well done. And again, my apologies for not filming more on site. I probably should have, but we were really just busy, focused on doing it. So for future builds, I'm most likely gonna have someone else come with us to help kind of film some behind the scenes. If you like content like this and would like to see more builds, let me know in the comments below. If not, I might not do it, so you never know. Um, but if you enjoyed it, again, please like, subscribe, share it with your friend, tell your mom about us. Uh, we'd love to have you. And <laughs> All right, we'll see you on the next one.